Welcome to the second hour of this morning. Here are today's headlines. The South Korean government cut off electricity at the Kaesong Industrial Complex at around 3.40 p.m. yesterday, 40 minutes after North Korea blew up a joint liaison office in the city. All power was cut off at the industrial complex following its suspension in 2016, but Seoul started supplying electricity again in August 2018 after the two Koreas decided to install the inter-Korean liaison office. South Korea's presidential office has expressed strong regret at North Korea's unilateral demolition of the office yesterday, calling it an act that defeats the expectations of all seeking peace on the Korean peninsula. The Seoul Metropolitan Government says that the capital confirmed a total of 1,145 novel coronavirus cases as of 6 p.m. yesterday, up by 13 from the figure released by the Korea Centers for Disease Control and Prevention earlier in the day. The new patients included the so-called imported cases that came from overseas, a cluster traced to -to door-to-door sales company Richway, and a nursing home in Tobungu District. Health authorities have yet to determine the route of transmission for 85 of the cases. U.S. President Donald Trump has signed an executive order on policing amid nationwide protests over the deaths of black people by law enforcement officers, including George Floyd. The order sets high and strong standards for police's use of force, and departments that meet the standards will be given federal grants. It would also create a national database on complaints of excessive force and encourage the involvement of mental health professionals when responding to nonviolent cases such as addiction. However, Trump voiced opposition to defunding police departments, claiming that those calling for the move were making radical and dangerous efforts. Finally, South Korea has ranked 23rd out of 63 countries in a new report on the best places to work and do business in, five notches up from last year. South Korea's rise in the world competitive ranking by Switzerland's Institute for Management Development was made due to improvements in government and business efficiency and overall infrastructure. The government has evaluated that the positive outcome was attributable to the country's handling of the coronavirus pandemic, including the public's crisis response and health infrastructure. And you can listen to these headlines once again on our YouTube channel by searching TBS EFM. If you click the link, you will also get a script of the headlines and subtitles as well. Coming up next, we're going to hear about what bag packers are and how they're showing up again here in Korea amid the coronavirus pandemic.